Breaking now on the Mike Gallagher Show. Elizabeth Warren has dropped out of the presidential race. Now, who does she endorse? Uh, I don't know. I think the smart money is on Bernie. It's what I've been trying to tell you. Don't count Bernie out. If Bernie Sanders takes Michigan next Tuesday, the momentum swings back to him. He's only 50 or 60 delegates away from Joe Biden. They got to get to 1,199 delegates. This is not over by any stretch of the imagination. And if you think Democrats are happy with Joe, meet my little sister, Dr. Jill Biden, uh, you you better think again. Uh, so if she endorses Bernie, because, and I think, a, I believe a, a, an Elizabeth Warren voter becomes a Bernie Sanders voter. I think if you support Elizabeth Warren, you support Bernie Sanders, not Joe Biden. Now, depends on what they'll offer her. Might try to give her a seat at the table because that's all she wants. So maybe Biden offers her some kind of a cabinet post in a hypothetical Biden administration. Who knows? Maybe she could be in charge of uh, diversity. Meanwhile, here's Chuck Schumer on the Senate floor moments ago, cut number 16 uh, uh, from Fox News, uh, saying that he, he shouldn't have, he probably shouldn't have said that uh, Justices Gorsuch and Kavanaugh won't know what hit them if they keep voting in a way that he doesn't like. So yes, I am angry. The women of America are angry. And yes, we will continue to fight for a woman's right to choose. I will continue to fight for the women of America. Now, I should not have used the words I used yesterday. They didn't come out the way I intended to. My point was that there would be political consequences, political consequences, for President Trump and Senate Republicans if the Supreme Court, with the newly confirmed justices, stripped away a woman's right to choose. Of course I didn't intend to, to, to suggest anything other than political and public opinion consequences for the Supreme Court and it is a gross distortion to imply otherwise. I'm from Brooklyn. We speak in strong language. I shouldn't have used the words I did, but in no way was I making a threat. I never, never would do such a thing. And Leader McConnell knows that. And Republicans who are busy manufacturing outrage over these comments know that too. No apology. None. Can't even muster the words, I'm sorry, for threatening. And just in case you didn't hear the original comments, let's make sure you do. Cut one. This is the threat. And it is a threat. And he wasn't threatening Republican politicians. He was threatening Supreme Court Justices Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. Cut one from Fox News and Gravy. I want to tell you, Gorsuch. I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. Oh, did the words not come out quite the way you wanted to? But but you didn't threaten them? You were talking about, what What did he just say? What? Play that clip again, guys from the Senate floor from a few minutes ago. I want to hear this again, him mangling an explanation that he thought that the Supreme Court would pay a political consequence. How does the Supreme Court, how do any of the existing justices pay a price politically? Has nothing to do with politics or an election, right? They don't get elected. They're appointed. L listen again to what, what, what this, what this uh, despicable... U.S. Senator from New York said from the floor of the Senate. So yes, I am angry. The women of America are angry. And yes, we will continue to fight for a woman's right to choose. I will continue to fight for the women of America. Now, I should not have used the words I used yesterday. They didn't come out the way I intended to. My point was that there would be political consequences political consequences.
for President Trump and Senate Republicans if the Supreme Court, with the newly confirmed justices, stripped away a woman's right to choose. That's a lie. That is a bald-faced lie. That is a total and abject lie. He said, you, Gorsuch, you, Kavanaugh, you won't even know what hit you. He wasn't directing that to President Trump or to Republican members of Congress. He's a liar. He's a despicable disgrace. And they ought to censure him. He ought to be condemned. And again, we need to beat them on November 3rd, 2020. That's how we win.